Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a tunnel card similar to this one, but we're going to be using some products out of the Happiness Blooms suite from the Occasions catalog. And we're gonna be using the designer series paper, possibly the dots, and then we are going to use um, a card from the Happiness Blooms Memories and More card pack. So this is a card created with the Happiness Blooms card pack. So we've got one of the cards um, as the background piece right here. And then this is one of the cards and envelopes um, that you can layer those pieces on and create fun, easy cards with the um, four by six and two by three cards in this kit. So you can see the colorful patterns and you get quite a few of these cards in this kit and the patterns are just so bright and fun and I just love them. Some of them mimic the patterns in the designer series paper. Um, some of them have little sentiments on them that you could use for scrapbooking if you'd like. Or like I said, you can just take these uh, cards and envelopes. The cards and envelopes are sized to be used with the cards in this um, Memories and More kit. So you can quickly throw together a birthday card and then you have a coordinating envelope to also go with that. So you can make super quick birthday cards and just any other kind of card. So we're going to be using one of the cards out of this kit. We're using this one here and I cut it up a little bit so that it would work and I'm actually going to use this pattern here. So let me move some of these things out of the way and we'll get started. All right, to start out with, I have a piece of cardstock. This is Whisper White and it measures eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. I've gone ahead and scored this. I scored it in half at four and one eighth and then I scored it at two and a sixteenth from each edge. So that way I have a fold in the center and then two folded parts on the sides. I then brought in my rectangle stitched framelits here and I cut the center with framelit number four. And you can see I have all my framelits marked with a Sharpie. This set of uh, rectangles here I have marked one through eight. This long skinny set I have marked A, B, C, D. And this little guy who's all by himself doesn't need to be marked at all. So you just stit your die right there in the middle using your score line as a guide. I ran it through the big shot and I'm left with this window piece here. So now I can go ahead and fold on these score lines. Like I said, these are two and a sixteenth from each edge and then four and one eighth in the center. Okay, so we have that so far. I also went ahead and took a piece of mint macaron cardstock and I used number four and number five. I layered them together. I nested them inside of each other when I ran them through the big shot. And then I created this fun little frame here that I'm going to glue on the um, around this frame for the inside of the card. So we can go ahead and do that. So I've got some liquid glue here and I'm just going to add some to this frame. And you can see I used a uh, scrap of cardstock here for my frame. Had some stamping on there. I'm going to bring in one of our silicone mats. That way, if I end up getting any glue um, outside the framed area, it's just going to go on the mat and I can easily just rub it off and get rid of it. Okay, so we're just going to place this around the frame window that we've already cut. Okay. And then we can fold this frame easily enough like that. Okay. So then we also have a piece of our thick whisper white cardstock and this is an eight and a half by five and a half and I've already folded it in half and I'm going to do some stamping on this piece. I'm going to bring in the amazing life stamp set and I'm going to use this large so happy to have you in my life sentiment. I've got that right here and I'm going to ink it up in Night of Navy. Since this is a little bit of a larger stamp, I'm just going to leave it on my table, face up, 
and then just gently pat um, the ink on top of that. Okay, and since it is photopolymer, I am going to bring in a foam mat. This happens to be covered with a piece of white paper. So now I've got this middle, um, I've got my score line here, and I'm going to do that right down the middle of the stamped image. Ink that up just a tiny bit more. See if we can get that right in the center. Press down. Large image, I'm gonna press just a little bit more. And there we have that for the center. And then we're going to bring in our other layer here. And then we're gonna have our card shown through the middle there. All right, so we can move this out of the way. And I did notice that I didn't quite get all of that Knight of Navy. So I may take my marker and see if I can add in some of the detail that I didn't get with the ink pad. And I could have stamped this um, before it was folded, but I did want to have that line there so that it would be a guide for me. And I think this is going to work. So just bring in my Knight of Navy marker, add some ink to those few spots where the stamped image did not get complete. And I think that's going to work really good. Okay, so there we have that. So this is, like I said, this is the front of the card, or the card base. So we're going to decorate the front. So I brought in a piece of the designer series paper, and I just cut this down to be the same as this uh, layer here. So it's five and a quarter. I think it's by two, if I remember right. Five and a quarter by two. So we can go ahead and add this piece to our uh, layer of mint macaron. Okay, and I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of the mint macaron showing on the side. Just a teeny tiny little bit, just for some interest there. Okay. I think this is a tiny bit too long, not a problem at all. We can just snip that off with some scissors. Unlike if it was too short, you can't add a paper. Okay, so that's gonna go on the front. And then we're gonna get a little sentiment piece. And I'm gonna bring in a stamp set that's available during the month of March called More Than Words. And we're gonna use the Today Calls for Something Sweet sentiment. And I've got that right here. I'm gonna stamp that on a piece of Whisper White using some Calypso Coral ink. So we'll just tap, 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 get that inked up. And we'll just stamp that right here on our scrap. All right. Here are the patterns in the designer series paper. So we've got six double-sided patterns, like again, just like the card kit. They're very bright, very fun. Now I'm gonna bring in the story label punch, which is also available in the month of March. And it just fits right over this perfectly. So we will crop that out. And then I'm also gonna crop out another uh, label from some Call Me Clover, which is another one of the colors that is in the uh, designer series paper. And I'm gonna snip this in half the long way, creating two halves. And I'm just gonna add my sentiment piece to this, just to give it a little bit of interest on either side. So we'll just leave a tiny bit of the Call Me Clover showing. And then we'll just, like I said, have a little bit of interest to show on the front of the card. Okay, so there we have that. So this we can go ahead and add to the front. Get some glue out here. All right. Make sure my sentiment isn't upside down in there somehow, because that would be a typical barb. Okay, there we go. And then this we can add with a few dimensionals. Put a couple of those on the back side here. And then we'll just add this to the front. Okay. And then on the inside, we're gonna just add adhesive to this part and this part. Put some glue on there. Only these two outer flaps are going to end up with glue. If we do add any glue on the inside, then of course the 
tunnel portion will not work. Okay. So we're going to carefully add this layer to the inside here, just leaving um, equal distance between the three sides, the top, the bottom, and the edge here. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this over and do the same thing. So we're leaving equal distance, top, bottom, and um, outside edge, like so. And then we close that up. And then we have the inside here. So fun so far. We're going to bring in those pieces from the card kit that I cut up. And these pieces measure, let me see if I can figure this out, five inches by... I think it's one and three quarters, but we'll measure it. Okay. Get the ruler out here. Yep, five inches by, oh, looks like one and seven eighths. Five by one and seven eighths. We're going to add one to the other side, too. Want to have the fun on both sides. Okay. And then the last thing I did, and here's the other side. Fun, fun. So I took this piece of pattern paper here and I cut out uh, one of the leaf and stem images along with one of the flowers. And I'm just going to add those right down here at the bottom. So I'll just add a tiny bit of adhesive there on the stem. And we'll just do this right here on the edge. And then we'll add the flower too. Put some glue on that. And we'll just add it right there. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to add some of our Happiness Blooms enamel dots just underneath the sentiment piece here. Pull those out of the package. Whoops, a little piece of adhesive in there that they're stuck on. And I'll bring in my take your pick tool. And let's see, what do we want to do? Go one of each size, maybe. And then the large one. about like so. So there we have it. So you have the front of the card, not super exciting, but very pretty with the designer series paper. And then you open it up and you have a real wow factor on the inside created with our amazing rectangle framelits. So please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel here. Click that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And if you need to order your supplies, please go to shoppingwithbarb.com. I appreciate all your orders. I do send out free gifts with purchase. And you can check all of my videos and fun information on my blog at barbstamps.com. So thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.